class is in session. The professor is in. We got a boss battle. It is time for the Trish Stratus boss at the weekend. First time that we are going to see six mm -hmm. star gold female requirements. So let's bro. Let's check it out. Let's see who is going to be in our top four, but it's more like top five, maybe six that we're going to see. Uh, the ones we're going to look at specifically are botch gems doing 700%, yellow gems doing 500%, and green gems doing 500%. There's really nobody that does a lot of snowfall, so we're going to sort of stick away from that one. Uh, not anybody that we're going to see that special um, there, but let's bro. We'll get to the focus category first. Uh, and in the focus category, it is basically down to two people mm -hmm. whom I do not have. Uh, so the first one's going to be Charlotte Flair with her gear getting um, plus four uh, move points. So the gear is going to be uh, huge for that. Uh, but Charlotte Flair has two different move sets that can work with this. So one is probably going to be the pyro plate with uh, the piper plate that does the pyro gems with that move right there. You can also run it with botches. There's two ways to do it, but I think this is the one that's going to do the best with the spear itself. Um, and then increasing your green gem damage could also work. So there's a couple ways that you can run Charlotte. But Charlotte's probably going to be the number one in the category. I think followed by Jade Cargo, which will probably be the second within this category. Because Jade has the ability to make a whole bunch of green gems uh, with her finisher. And then she's able to make multiply gems. And there was one more that came with this. And then the Multiply Gems over there as well, too. So she's going to be able to do a bunch of damage uh, that way. But the Focus category is going to be the strongest category. That's where you're going to find most of the damage makers. And there's a few more in here that you can make an argument for. could be the top one. But I do still think that the top in the category uh, is going to be the new Charlotte Flair Tech Charlotte for that one. In terms of the chaotic category, uh, I'm thinking that the best one that we're probably going to see uh, is going to be Shotzi. And I think Shotzi's ability to put out a whole bunch of multiply gems and to then make all of those multiply gems into yellow gems is what's going to make her probably the best uh, in this chaotic category. Moving on to the aggressive category, uh, this one was also a little bit uh, shallow in terms of people that you can use here. Um, probably one of the better ones. It's kind of hard to say. She does make a lot of botch gems um, onto the board, but she's not making... You're destroying a lot of them, um, increasing your gem damage. I'm not really high. A lot of people have said Dakota Kai. Not really high on Dakota for this one. Um, however... I actually think the best in this category is actually going to be Mela uh, Untouchable, and it's not this move set. It is the move set that puts down multiply gems that increase their strength, uh, turn them into green, but it's not very big multiply gems, so it's kind of hard to say that she's going to be better than Dakota in that sense. And the other one that might be here, and they're probably all going to go into the bargain bin afterwards anyways, um, is someone like a zombie Rayo? Maybe? I don't know. Botch gems do extra damage if you got the gear, and that she can put extra damage for all sorts of botch gems down. I don't like any of this, actually, to be quite honest. We're going to go with Mela. We'll talk more about this category. That is awful, but we'll go with Mela being right there. Uh, in this category, in the defensive, uh, it's easily Zombie Live. So Zombie Live, you can run her a couple of ways. Uh, the kick out obviously isn't going to work for you here. We'll take that one out of here. But you are going to spam the yellow. You are going to increase your yellow gem damage. That's one way uh, to do that. But you have another way you can run her too, right? So she has two different move sets for this one. Extra bonus damage and lots of it. Four botch gems. You're gonna make 42 into botch gems with that sub. You can make a five by five. So those are three moves that you can put down. Um, so what I think might be the the way to run her uh, is actually not to do that. 
is to actually do something like this. Uh, and that is putting um, your yellow gem damage down, putting the botch gems down, make 44 of them into yellow gems. That one is going to be very nice uh, going forward uh, this month for sure. So that's one thing that I really like um, for there. So the only one that we're missing actually on the screen is the only person that I do not have, which is Charlotte. Uh, so that is going to be my top four, five, six, seven. Um, a lot of different options there. The two that are probably going to do the most damage is one and two. Uh, and then after that, we'll see. I don't like either of these categories, to be quite honest. Um, but since a lot of people do have Shotzi, maybe we'll just erase that part of it. Shotzi, still good. This category, into the wastelands, as, <laughs> as we discussed on stream this weekend. Uh, thanks for coming to class. Be sure to check out the Bargain Bin video. It will be linked up here, hopefully, uh, whenever it comes out later. Appreciate it. Talk to you all soon. Professor. out.